With earnings around the corner, in today's video, I'll show you two simple ways to scan for upcoming earnings using the scan tab inside of Thinkorswim. Now the benefit of using the scan tab is you can really start to layer on your own personal set of conditions, which lets you create a custom list of stocks that are reporting earnings that you care about. I'll show you an example of that as we dive into actually practicing both of these approaches. Now method number one is the simple, easy method, and that's using a pre-built study inside of Thinkorswim, which you can find in the Corporate Actions tab. I'll walk you through how to find this exactly in Thinkorswim in just a second, but let's first discuss the pros and cons of each method. The pros of using this method is it's easier, there's no coding required, it's a plug and play, Thinkorswim makes this available for you, which really just lets you get up and running quickly, especially if you have no coding knowledge. The downside, however, is you have less control. You can't do things, for example, as scan for exact dates. Say you wanted a list of stocks reporting earnings exactly a week from today, that's not something that you could do using this pre-built approach. The pre-built approach simply scans for, hey, do we have earnings anytime within the next number of X bars? So that's the key difference here using method number one, you have less control over things like exact dates. Now method number two solves for this con, where you write some very simple ThinkScript code. In fact, it's so simple that you can see the code directly on your screen here. There's four lines of code, and really lines one, two, and three are all doing the same thing just in slightly different manners. Line one is a generic, hey, do we have earnings? Don't care if it's before or after market open. And lines two and three is breaking that down a little bit further, a little bit more precision for scanning for before market along with after market earnings. Line four is the actual scan criteria in which in this example, I'm scanning for any stock that has earnings before the market opens, which is this variable right here. And we're scanning for exactly 10 days from the current uh, day, the current bar. So here we have a lot more precision, a lot more control. So the benefit here should be pretty obvious. It's that you can control things a little bit more where say you wanted a list of stocks reporting earnings exactly 10 days from today. That's easy to do using the coding approach. The downside, however, is it requires a little bit more time and also just a very basic thinkorswim uh, coding knowledge base. But again, that's very easy to do and I'll walk you through how you can build the scan yourself. Now let's dive into thinkorswim and practice both of these approaches so you can see for yourself how each one is different from the other. Inside of your thinkorswim platform, click the scan tab and there we can start with method number one first. There, click Add Filter, choose Study, and inside of Study, click the dropdown, select Corporate Actions, and select Earnings as the filter you're looking to apply. Now, one note to keep in mind, if you're in paper money, custom study filters are not supported in Thinkorswim in the paper money version, only in the real money version, at least as of the time of making this video. So that's one thing you may need to be aware of. Now, once you have the study added here, let's go through this, so we're scanning for do we have earnings any time we're looking for has as opposed to does not have? So do we have earnings any time we don't care about before or after market in the next 10 bars? So now if I run the scan, we have 57 different stocks that are reporting earnings any time in the next 10 bars. If we shrink this to say before the market opens, let's see how this number changes. We have 57 as any time within the next 10 bars. That number now drops to 37 if you're looking for stocks reporting only before the market opens. Now let's say you wanted to find a list of stocks reporting exactly 10 days from today. That's not possible using this approach. So that's where we now turn to method number two, which is writing some simple ThinkScript code. I'll close out this filter here. Let's now click add filter to create a new filter from scratch. Click study. There in the drop down, scroll all the way to the bottom and select custom. Inside of custom, navigate to the ThingScript editor tab and delete the code that's already inside. Now let's say our first scan that we're looking to run is any stock reporting earnings exactly 10 days from today. We don't care if it's before market or after market open, but it must be exactly 10 days from today, which would be October 25th. So let's go ahead and create a scan criteria for that. We'll say def earnings day is equal to has earnings. We don't define any parameter here. 
And I create a second uh, condition or second variable rather, which is our actual scan criteria. Plot signal is equal to, do we have earnings day exactly 10 bars from today? Now we use the array functionality to scan for exact dates and I'm adding the negative sign ahead of the number 10 since we're scanning for something in the future as opposed to something in the past. Now if I click OK and we run this scan, we can see here we have 31 stocks all reporting earnings exactly 10 days from today, but you'll notice it varies between before or after market. So uh, dates are all October 25th, but now let's say we'd like to narrow this down to only before market earnings. Let's edit the code here. We add in one parameter inside of the has earnings function where that parameter is earning time dot before underscore market. Now, once we click that, let's click OK. Let's see how this number 31 changes as we narrow down our focus to reporting before the market only exactly 10 days from today. That number goes from 31 to 16. And you'll notice all of these stocks are now reporting earnings only before the market opens. So now we've been able to narrow down our watch list even further. Now let's say we'd like to take this one step further and maybe we'll add in one technical analysis filter, which is give me a list of stocks reporting earnings exactly 10 days from today, reporting before the market open, but they must be above the 50 period simple moving average. So let's define the 50 simple first. I'll say def SMA 50 is equal to simple moving average close. We set that equal to a length of 50 and I'll add in one additional condition in our scan criteria, which says, hey, do we have earnings exactly 10 bars from today? And is the stock prices close currently for today greater than the SMA 50? If that's true, then give me a list of those stocks. Otherwise, remove those stocks from this list. So we currently have 16 stocks reporting earnings 10 days from today. If I run the scan tab now, let's see how many of those 16 are greater than the 50 period simple moving average. If I run scan, we now narrow that list down to exactly two stocks only. Here we have Archer Daniels and Halliburton. So let's take a look at each one of these stocks to make sure the scan is working the way we expect. If I come in, we have Halliburton here. Let me go ahead and expand the amount of time we can see. So on our time axis, I'll expand this from seven to let's give this say 20 bars to the right. And now if I come forward, we can see that our earnings date is October 25th. That's what we're scanning for. It's reporting before the market opens and I have the SMA 50 loaded on and the stock price is currently greater than the 50 period simple moving average. Same thing if I switch over to ADM, you'll notice Again, earnings October 25th before the market opens and the stock price is greater than the 50 period simple moving average. Now you can take this one step further and do things like apply our pre earnings analysis indicator. Here you can now do things like set this equal to 10 days prior to earnings and start to really break down what stocks tend to do before the X number of days that you scanned for. So for example, inside of Archer Daniels here, we can see 10 days prior to earnings, stocks, or rather ADM tends to rise nine times, but it's fallen 11 times. So about 50-50, no real clues there. And in terms of the implied volatility, the implied volatility for the most part falls as we head closer and closer into earnings. So that gives you an idea that, hey, if you are looking for some sort of strategy here, you don't really have a directional bias. However, you do know that volatility tends to fall out of the options premium. So you'd want to be a seller of the options premium, which allows you to capture that volatility difference. Same thing if we repeat this with Halliburton. Here we have a little bit more price clues as well. Halliburton tends to rise uh, 14 times headed into earnings 10 days prior, tends to fall about six days or six times. So 70% of the time here, we have a rise into earnings that gives you directional bias. If we now take a look at IV, IV tends to fall 10 days into earnings. So you very clearly know that you'd like to have a bullish bias where you're looking to be a seller of that premium and capture this volatility decay, which very clearly gives you an edge. For all Volatility Box members, you can download the pre-earnings analysis indicator directly from our website. That's tosindicators.com indicators. And there search for the pre-earnings analysis indicator 
And as long as you're logged in using your Volatility Box credentials, you can download this indicator for free and start to use it to both scan for earnings and then analyze what tends to happen in whatever list of stocks you're looking at headed into earnings. All right, I hope you found this video useful. Take care, everyone. Good luck trading this earnings season, and I'll see you in the next update.